Hey friends, welcome back. If this is your first time here, I'm Dr. Rachel Fuentes and I am a veterinarian. And today what I'd like to do is talk a little bit about FELV or feline leukemia virus. This is something that is very common and we have a vaccine for it. And I really just wanted to give you kind of the quick details about the disease itself, whether or not I recommend vaccinating for it and kind of just what is the, the quick and dirty deal about the disease itself. So keep on watching and I'll let you know all about FELV. Okay, so FELV is feline leukemia virus. It is part of the Retroviridae family, which happens to be part of the same family as FIV and human HIV. Now these are all species specific, so there is no concern of passing anything between you and your cat. So I just wanted to clear that. So what that is up. FELV? Well, FELV is a virus that once in the body will begin to suppress the immune system. So cats that have FELV um, can potentially have things like an anemia or a drop in red blood cells. They can have um, different problems with their GI tract, uh, like an enteritis. They can also have other kinds of immune suppression diseases like toxoplasmosis. There are unfortunately some cases of FELV that can lead to cancer. Um, they're fairly rare in my experience, but it is so a So how is FELV transmitted from cat to cat? Um, really, it is a cat to cat transmission. So if you have a one cat home and your cat never goes outside, the likelihood of he or she contracting the disease is pretty slim to none. Um, they do have to have actual direct contact, usually through saliva. Um, FELV is, in my mind, more of like the loving, friendly cat disease in that it's cats that are licking and grooming each other, sharing the same bowls and food, um, the ones that are really spending a lot of time with each other. Those are the ones that I worry most about as far as, so you have a positive FELV cat. You adopted them not knowing, or you picked them up off the street, or maybe you took them in knowing that they had FELV. These guys can live long, happy lives, even with this virus. The virus itself is not a death sentence. It's really just something to keep in mind so that we know that unfortunately, just like everybody when they get sick um, or there are other things going on that we have an idea of what's really going on underneath everything. Now, if you do have an FELV cat, then I strongly, strongly recommend that you keep them indoors. There is no good reason to let a positive cat out into the community and then they could potentially infect other cats that may not get the kind of veterinary care, love, feeding, you know, regular life that your cat might Vaccination. have. Vaccination. Is there a vaccine for feline leukemia virus? There is. And, you know, it happens to be a pretty good vaccine. I, however, do not vaccinate all of the cats that I see. Uh, in fact, I vaccinate very few of the cats that I see. Um, most of the patients that I see, their cats are indoor-only cats. And for me, since they're not going to be exposed to this virus, since it is a cat-to-cat -cat direct transmission, I tend to recommend not vaccinating. Now, if you do have a cat that goes outside or that you think might get outside, or if you have another cat at home that has already tested positive, then I definitely would, after testing and being negative, I would at that point then recommend that so vaccine. I hope that this cleared up a little bit about FELV or feline leukemia virus. Uh, again, this is kind of just the quick and dirty information. Obviously, if you have any questions, you can always drop them down below. You can hit me up on Facebook or Instagram, which I'll link as well. Always talk to your family veterinarian if you have more questions that are specific to you and your pets. And I can't wait to see you guys on this next episode. Bye. <laughs>